Hello, this is John from UniBlue. First of all, I'd like to thank you for choosing UniBlue products. As you might be aware, there are many different hardware drivers on the market. Some of these drivers require specific hardware or user intervention to be installed properly. For this reason, automatic installation is not always successful due to the complexity of the driver or the hardware. During this short video, I'd like to guide you through the manual installation of drivers and help you understand how this works. This will also help us improve our driver database and help you benefit from a better quality of drivers. Once the scan is complete, you are taken to the scan results page. In the left column, you can see the device name that needs updating and on the right column you can see the driver. For more details about the driver you can click the view details link. From here you can also choose to install the driver or ignore the driver update if you don't wish to update. Any drivers ignored can be unignored at any other stage. You can also notice that some drivers may affect multiple devices. At the bottom of the GUI you can find the devices that use the same driver. During the scan, driver scanner detects your hardware and current driver version and release date and uses this information to compare it to our database. If a newer version is present on our database, Driver Scanner gives you the option to download these drivers one by one, or you can choose this button over here, the Download All button. For this purpose, I will choose to download one driver at a time. You can also download multiple individual drivers. These will be queued and downloaded one by one. Let us install the first driver. Once you click this install button, the driver installer, installer setup file is launched. A restore point is created for the retrieval of old drivers should you need them. This over here is uh, the hardware manufacturer installer. Uh, so I suggest you follow the necessary procedure to correctly install the driver. You might also encounter some drivers that require you to restart your computer. I suggest that you restart your computer upon request. Since the driver was installed successfully, uh, it will not reappear in your next scan. To install another driver, you can simply click the install button and follow the instruction. Since we have already downloaded the driver, driver scanner will start inst the installation process. Please note that if the Windows Restore is not active, Driver Scanner will prompt and advise you to turn on the System Restore. Once the driver installer is loaded, you can follow the instructions in the installer guide uh, to help you through the installation process. In this case, it seems to be uh, a problem. There seems to be a problem with this particular driver. So in this case, um, driver scanner will prompt you to restart. Welcome back to driver scanner walkthrough. As you can see, driver scanner will automatically start so you can complete the manual installation of the driver. It will also inform you that some drivers need your attention.
as you can notice now the button shows install manually in this way driver scanner allows the user to install the driver manually the files that you need to look for are .exe usually called setup.exe or bat.bat or .inf files in this case it seems to be a .exe file or setup so you can simply double click on it and start the installer once the installer is executed it will guide you through the installation and you can simply click next to install the driver in this case um, it seems to have suggested a wrong driver this is where we need your help to improve our database please click done and answer the questionnaire to help us identify the problem press submit and close since the driver did not install this is temporarily added to the ignore list in this case the driver status is set to update ignored in this status the driver is temporarily ignored to avoid annoying pop-ups on every scan however the good thing about this is that once our database is updated with a new driver this particular driver will be put back in the scanning loop automatically and you will be prompted with a new driver thank you for spending some time to watch this video and thank you for helping us improve our driver database during this session we have seen how to one identify a device and a driver by looking at the scan results page 2. Download a driver 3. Install a driver automatically 4. Install a driver manually 5. Ask why drivers are added in the ignore list 6. How the ignore list works 7. What happens when a driver fails to install if you need further help or require further information, you can contact us through our support department from the following link.